Good morning. My name is Allison McCartney and I'm the vice chair for the Mississippi Bat Working Group. And today we're out in a creek uh, near my house and we're going to set up a mist net set. Mist net surveys are a common survey method that we use to try and catch bats. And the idea behind it is that you set up two poles on either side of the creek and string up a real fine net in between those poles and hopefully catch a bat. So I'm going to start stringing this up while I talk. This blue one is your top one. And what you do, these nets are real easy to tangle. And so you kind of pull this apart to see where your next one is. So mist net sets, usually you set up over water. You can, uh, it depends on what species you're targeting and what your questions are that you're trying to answer in terms of where you would want a net. But your most common scenario is that we net over water. A pond site can be really good. Uh, again, what water site you pick depends on what species you're targeting. Pond sites, um, a lot of times you'll get evening and red bats, but then these smaller creeks you might get some different species. So this site is not your ideal mist net site. Uh, it's got some good parts to it, some not so good parts to it. The not so good parts are that it doesn't have a lot of water. Um, it's also kind of cluttered and it's also fairly open in terms of the canopy. So your ideal net site is you would probably have a little more water, a little wider. You want it to be shallow enough to walk across. And ideally you'd have kind of a closed canopy like a tunnel that would funnel the bats down. So the idea behind it is that you set up this net and that bats come down, usually right after sunset, come to get a drink of water and then um or try and get some insects and then end up falling into this net the mississippi bat working group has a mist net event annually we're not doing it this year because of covid but hopefully we will next year and i hope that you'll be able to join us thanks for watching